Okay, so you guys know how excited I was when I bought my portable dishwasher. Well, on this week's episode of I'm Buying All the Tiny Appliances for my apartment, I bought this Fiberware uh, portable dishwasher. I'm so freaking excited. Look at it. I love it. And I ended up choosing this one because it has, um, it's completely portable, so it doesn't have to be hooked up to a sink, which is fantastic. And it also has all these different wash cycles, which I was really excited about the baby bottle wash and the fruit wash, because we buy a lot of fruit and I usually wash it in like a water and vinegar concoction, just to make sure that it's all set. So, hope you guys enjoy. Right, you guys, I am going to attempt to open this one-handed while I film. I already crossed off my address, so nobody can come find me or my neighbors. And let's see how this thing looks. I'm so excited. This is going to make my life so much easier, hopefully. It works for me, it says it should. It's not as easy to do one handed. This looks so cute, it's definitely way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, it looks so cute! Okay, I'm going to set this up on my counter and I'll see you guys in So this is definitely heavier and bigger than I was anticipating. Um, you guys can see right here, this is my microwave. It's a pretty big microwave. This is my um, toaster oven. That's my KitchenAid right behind there. So it is bigger than I was expecting. I do have a tiny kitchen, so I think um, Jackie and I are planning to get maybe like a rolling kitchen cart so we can put this on it and kind of move it roll it in and out of the way but I wanted to show you guys before I finish setting it up but this is what it looks like inside I literally haven't taken any of this stuff out but $17 per year supposedly it should cost and then you know there's all this other stuff that I'm gonna have to like take to get off but I'm not sure where anything goes or like how this works so I guess we'll see. I'm gonna try and set it up and we will go from there. Okay, I have all of the accessories taken apart. Um, this is the fruit basket, so I'm not sure if this just goes in the regular tray like this. I'm not sure. Um, but yes, this is the fruit basket, which is fantastic. Super excited about that. This is the cute little tray that it comes with. This is the silverware tray, snaps in and out. You guys can't even see that. <laughs> Should probably step a little further back. Okay, so this is the regular dish tray and this is the silverware um, tray. So it just snaps in and out to accommodate larger dishes. Um, this is the outtake hose. I believe this is the outtake hose. Could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. And then this is the intake hose. Again, could be mistaken, but I'm about 99% sure that I'm not wrong. And then it also comes with a pitcher, a little jug, which is 1.8 liters. I believe this holds, um, five liters of water. So, you know, you can use this a couple times to fill it, but it comes with this and I thought that was really um, a nice thing to add on. It makes it much easier to be able to fill it. So I'm going to assemble this and I'll see you then. Okay, so you guys have to like excuse my mess over here, my dishes that I need to get done. Um, but I've loaded a few things into the dishwasher and it doesn't hold a lot of stuff. Now, keep that in mind. Um, but I have four, oh my gosh, of course my microwave, let's go start keeping. 
have four of these pasta dishes. So there's three here and then there's one in the back. Um, and then I have just a regular plate and then I have two of um, my little guy's sippy cups and then just some uh, utensils. He keeps calling it a truck. He's convinced it's a truck. Um, so that is in there. My little dishwasher tab. I have my little dishwasher tab. Um, and I do have it the outtake, the like drain hose is already connected. You do have to tighten it with a screwdriver. So that's connected and ready to drain into my sink. Um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys. It doesn't hold the dishwasher pack in place. I'm going to only do a rapid wash, but up here, it comes with this bucket, which I think I already showed you. And um, it's a little, difficult to fill so this is the water tank up at the top and when it is full it will start beeping which I guess it's not full yet so I'm gonna have to add some more okay you guys sorry I have to put my little guy down for a nap so we are going to oops, fill this so you can hear it it starts beeping uh, when it's full it is full um, and I have my dishwasher pack in there we're loaded we're ready to go I'm gonna do a rapid cycle um, because the normal takes forever and it's crazy so and it's just a few things I've already um, rinsed most, most of the things so now it's on and we're gonna see how this goes I really like that there's a light inside. I think that's cute. Um, I'm sure it's not there for aesthetic purposes. I believe it is there. Um, I believe it's in there. I think it's an LED light. I'm not sure if it's there to like sanitize um, or really what the purpose of it is. I'll have to look and see. But. Okay, so the water is cycling. It sprays from the bottom. There's um, an arm underneath. This is going to make my life so much easier, you guys. I literally spend all day long doing dishes. And honestly, I try to avoid doing dishes as much as possible. Um, but you know, it's not always avoidable, so I'm so excited. This is like gonna be a game changer. Also, how freaking cute is this? I'm obsessed. Sorry, I'm also eating. Also, clearly, I make a mess when I'm trying to fill the whole bear tank. Tell me why this is the cutest dishwasher on the planet. I'm just like absolutely obsessed. I can't wait to buy all the tiny appliances. I'm definitely putting this bowl in there because it's all gross. It's salad dressing, salad pieces. Um, so we're gonna see really how this thing works with this big giant disgusting bowl. And hopefully it gets nice and clean in there. There's even some stuff on the outside. I have three gross sippy cups and the uh, two of them, their spouts. And um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna do a little bit smaller load and see how. So I guess this time around, I have the three. This one is the really gross one. Um, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, all that nasty stuff on the inside. So I have three 
gross sippy cups and the bowl that had the salad that has the stuff on top we're just gonna do a little bit smaller load but it's a little bit more soiled load and um, we're gonna see how it goes and I might add a couple I don't even know if I have any silverware that needs to be washed I basically do my dishes every day hi and um, yeah so we're gonna do a little bit smaller load and see how this all turns out and hopefully this nasty milk any of my mamas out there who have ever opened a sippy cup with milk Yay! yeah my little guy is very enthusiastic any sippy cups no you can't have those they're dirty any of these sippy cups with milk or formula they're disgusting they smell so bad like sometimes I just want to hold throw the whole sippy out and I'm not gonna lie sometimes I do oh my little light just shut off um but we're gonna try it we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully everything gets clean I just found this super disgusting um, Pyrex Tupperware container lid and I'm going to stick that in the back because that one's super gross and it's sticky. I think there was leftover baked beans or something in it. Um, it's gross and I'm going to try that because I wanted to add like one more thing in if I could. And yeah, now we're really going to see how this turns out and here's my little dishwasher pack. Yes! Yes! Okay, so we are going to turn it on now. I'm going to do a rapid cycle and then yes! air refresh. Yes! And we're going to start. Whoa! Let's see how this goes. You can still see all of like the nasty stuff on the inside. Gross. The nasty sippy cup. Gross. I really hope this works, guys. Okay, so this is all done. Um, still disgusting. Gross. Um, this is just stained now, so it's actually clean. Um, can you even see that, guys? It's clean, it's just stained, um, which is fine. And then, it is spotless. I mean, aside from the water, but whole thing is clean. So, this is not a truck, honey. No. Go finish your cheese stick. No, no more. You've already had two. Um, so this I'm just going to wash by hand, but the other ones are clean. And the tops are clean, so I'm just going to pop these in my um, dish strainer. Let them... Let them sit and dry for a little bit and I'm um, on to the next load but this one like I can definitely get that clean with the uh, bottle brush right there so slightly disappointed in that but it's not even like that much when you look at the oh it's pretty gross actually so it is still gross but I'll just clean it myself but uh, other than that I'm like super pleased with this I love it um I love my little dishwasher I love my little washing machine which is on a spin cycle Again, uh, this is the second load that I've done. So, yeah, I'm loving it. If you guys are interested in my little countertop dishwasher, which is so freaking cute, um, works really well, I will have it linked down below to where you can get it. And also, I will put a link to the portable washing machine. So, Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to comment them down below or DM me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, whatever it is that you want, and I'm happy to answer them. Also, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out more than you guys know, the likes and the subscribes in particular, but um, yeah, if you guys could do that, that would be amazing, and I will literally love you forever. Alright, bye guys. See you in the next video.